Hey guys, welcome to Bushwickies. This is our first podcast that we recorded a while back. I'm sorry for some of the topics being old news, but you have to keep in mind that it was recorded a while ago. So enough excuses, on to the controls. I put a lot of time into making this as professional as possible. Okay, let me explain this up. On the bottom, you have the names of the people on the show. Click your names to subscribe to their channels, though Camper is the only one with a YouTube channel. Also on the left, we have a topics chart. I don't expect you guys to watch the whole podcast, so feel free to click the annotations on the left to skip to the topics you want to hear or look at the description. And if you guys did enjoy the podcast, please click on the top right annotation and let the podcast begin. Peace. What is up, viewers, trolls, and haters? This is Pal here, and today I want to introduce our first pilot episode of Bush Wookies. And I have a couple guests with me. Some of them are permanent, and one of them is a guest. So let's get on to our permanent guests or permanent people. And uh, today we have Camper No Camping or Jack, and we also have Azrit, and we have our guest Lance. And I'll have older uh, links or YouTube's down in the description. So would you guys would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hello. I'm Jack. Azra. All right, I'm Azra. Hi, I'm Lance. All right, so let's get on to our first topic, which will be um, about raw instincts. And oh, you guys saw the videos, right? Oh my uh, god. Yeah. 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 Okay. First of all, I want to see what's your thoughts on the video. Jack, you can go first. He's a cocksucker. Like, I'm just surprised <laughs> nobody saw it earlier. Everyone saw it earlier. Everyone yeah, that, knew. I'm like, I'm surprised like, nobody called it out though. Like, yeah, YouTube's, and, YouTubers always knew. It was the viewers that that didn't know. Yeah, like, did you guys know who I Fly was before the video? Because I didn't. I, I had no, no idea. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. No, no. He's Azure. pretty cool though. If you look at his videos. Yeah, he is. That he has like watched cool the video. Guy, right? but... He even served our country. That makes him a good guy. Oh, yeah, he was a, he was a pilot apparently. I thought he's still a pirate. A pirate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> a pilot, yes. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's not, right? Like, I thought he said he used to be a pilot. He served, like, past tense. I think he's, like, 26 or something. I think we're hung up on though. this pilot business a little what? too long. I don't care. I, I legitimately like the video. I, I actually like the way he speaks. Yeah, and I thought he, he made it like a very well good narrative. Mm-hmm. If he if he like half did it, like he didn't make the side by side videos in the time, yeah. no one would know. Yeah, the like, editing and stuff yeah. was to perfection. If it had been like any less, I don't think it would have gotten many views. How mm-hmm. lucky is this guy? Seriously, I mean, it's all his stuff, but it's like that video has like four hundred thousand views. Wait, wait, why would you say lucky though? I feel. No, yeah, it's like a lot, no, yeah, a lot of people retweeted it and stuff. So I saw it on Twitter and I went to the video. That's how I heard of it, at least. Like, I didn't hear about it. Wait, okay, wait, time out. Let's be honest here. Who knew who Raw Instinct was before this video? I, I, did. Did. I, did. I, did. I did. I did. Wait, Lance, I was even subbed to him just for that. Yeah, I was video. subbed to him for like about six months, so yeah. I really, I just looked at the videos. I never thought he was. Like, I knew he was obviously mimicking other people, but I didn't think he was like. Flat out copying work from yeah, work from yeah. His... or like laying down in dome, like calling in his recon. Yeah, <laughs> things like that. I didn't know this he was like slapped in the face. Before. He took off his white glove. Oh, I don't want to get into those jokes yet. Anyway, so um, what I want to talk about also is about originality and like ideas and stuff because like just because I understand he did it like word for word or like you know in that sense you know copied every single little thing about T Martin's videos or I Fly's videos. But in the sense of originality, like, do you think that people are just kind of taking this too seriously? Because just because he makes that, like, I watched another video about, I think it was Severe Gaming or whatever, that he made a video about kick versus grip and kick and grip, and he posted that video. And then he's kind of being sad and made a response video saying, oh, Raw Instinct stole my idea for this. Isn't that, I don't consider that stealing, because, like, there's just because he lying. Yeah, there, there's a line. I mean, Raw, Raw Instincts crossed the line in I Fly and T Martin's videos, but like that guy, it's just just because you made that video doesn't mean that nobody else can make like similar videos to that. Like you don't yeah, like, own it. But I mean, like if somebody took a topic from you, Pilot, but they did a commentary expressing their own opinion, that's their idea, even though they got that idea from somewhere else, is still their idea. So this guy was blatantly copying and pasting. But oh, yeah, there, like, there's no video. personality with his channel. It's all oh, tips. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, and once Marvel 3... It's all tips. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. no story. Like, Marvel for 3, when Marvel for 3 came out, like, I, I've been watching it for about six months, and all he did was tips. Like, he didn't give one yeah. commentary. But, like, the thing is, for me, I, there's a difference between tips and tricks, ideas, and commentary ideas. Like, 
since I did a commentary about you know your educational future or whatever, I don't own that topic. I don't. I, I didn't patent it, so anybody can use it and express their own ideas. But for tips and tricks, people think that once you make that video, nobody else can make it. And that's how some people think, at least. You know. I, but, I mean, I it think... was almost like plagiarizing a movie, like yeah, yeah, just yeah. posting the other guy's video on your channel. Lance. I mean, it would have been better if he if he made it if he made it better at all. It yeah. would have made it okay, but he yeah, like if he, if he improved on it, you know, made some extra stats, made some extra things. But I watched like I I went back and I watched T Martin's video, then Raw Instincts video. They both do good editing jobs, you know. They, it takes a bit of time. I I'll give him both that. But the thing is, I didn't see a difference between T Martin's and Raw Instincts. I don't think he put forth, you know, the extra yeah. effort into making that video better than T Martin's at all. Because if it was better, then you know. That's a little bit. Uh, that's a little yeah. bit foreign, but at the same time, he didn't make it better. It was like the same. It was like like Jack said, copy and paste. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, take it from T Martin's perspective or this iFly guy. What if you were doing putting all this work into something, and then some guy out of freaking nowhere just takes your ideas? What would you yeah. do? I don't think T Martin really cared though because he was still soaring. Okay, yeah. what about this iFly guy? iFly guy, I mean, you saw what he got. iFly guy is lucky. He's a lucky guy. He got like 45,000 subscribers off of this, this well, whole thing. he deserved class. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, like, the, no, no, okay. He's okay. lucky that his proof video got out there. All right. The, I don't, I, he got lucky because there are tons of people who make tip videos. Exactly. And this could have happened to anyone, but it just happened to happen to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he's happened probably the first happen. one that's gotten the most attention. But the thing is, for him, it's just like, he's lucky because, like, you know, not older, if he did make those videos and Raw Instinct didn't make the videos copying him, do you think he would be as big as Raw Instinct? I mean, yes, I grant it, he would have more subscribers and more notice, but... Ron Instincts already was pretty big. He was a lot bigger than that guy was. So but if you, you don't look at his videos, they were all tip stuff, and it's just by chance, by the flip of a coin, that Ron Instinct got big, big off of his tips and not him. I mean, he was well, already semi big before that. Like I've been watching him for a while, and like yes, his his videos has skyrocketed because of uh, those mom for three tips. But like beforehand, he was already he was big, big. So. Even if yeah. I fly, I mean, if if Rod and Six didn't copy his videos, how big do you think I fly would would be? I don't think he would be. Uh, you would never know. Yeah, see, you would never know, and I I personally think I like to assume that um he wouldn't be too much bigger. I mean, he would be bigger, granted, but not at the size he'd be he the size he'd be. where he is now. I don't think he would be forty five thousand because there are, there are tons of people who make great tip videos. Exactly. Tons. I just uh, think you... the basis of a channel on basing your channel around tip videos isn't very. It's, it's a, a good bad, idea. It's yeah, a bad it, idea. It, it, it's it's... A, it's like the whole quick scoping sniping thing from COD Four Days. Every single one of those, they're all gone except for like Phase. And yeah. gameplay yeah. channels, there will yeah. always be somebody who's better than you with the game. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of dumb if you don't have a personality, because there I has some reason you have to go back to that guy instead of. The other dude with the Quinta Moab. There are pretty much like three, four guys out there who are running off the gameplay alone. I can give you way more. Yeah, actually. I think variety is what matters. Yeah, because like, the, the thing is, like, yeah, Jack said big guys. I, I know a lot of people, but they're not, I wouldn't consider them big. But the thing is, like, if you have a lot of gameplay and good gameplay, but you don't have a personality... Like, I understand people flock to, like, Moabs and stuff most of the times that they put, put up big scores. But the thing is, for me, like... If I'm watching that gameplay and their commentary's lacking, I, I don't I wouldn't like the video. That's just me. You know? And, Jay Nasty. <laughs> Jay Nasty. But like no, like and, and, and other people too. I see it all the time. Like they have good videos and like good scores and stuff, but like they're just talking about the gameplay. Like I hate it when people talk about the gameplay. I I know what's happening in there. You don't have to explain it. I mean, it's different to give tips, but if you're just saying, "Oh, I went through this door. I needed that guy. Oh wow, that guy almost killed me." I, I find that really boring. You know. But then again, that's what live commentaries are basically based on most of the time. Because if you haven't tried it, it's kind of difficult. Oh, it is. Like I've done it before. <laughs> it's 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 hard to do well and talk like you know intelligently and you know to articulate what you're going to say while you're playing the game. Because the game takes no, it, 
no yeah. matter what you say, it takes a certain amount of concentration to do like pretty well, unless you're going against people that don't know how to hold a control or anything. I, I, don't, I don't think it's as hard as if you do it with a group, though. Well, yeah, because you're not talking all the time. There's other people offering other ideas to say. Yeah, because like live yeah. commentary. Or oh, Lance, you want to say something? No, go ahead. All right, like live commentaries for me at least. Like I don't like it. Like this is my pet peeve at least when I do live commentaries. I always have to be talking. I can't just like stop, and then like you know like come back about two seconds later. I have to keep talking, and like I have to make sense while I'm talking. Like and it's just it's hard to actually have like, like topics down and talking about it while you're playing because. Either you lose your, you know, sight, or you just fly through it so fast, you know, you don't even realize what you're talking about anymore. So, anyway, on to our next topic about Raw Instincts. Like, morally, he's making 100k off his YouTube videos each year. And I just want to know your guys, I, you know, thoughts off him making all that money on ideas of others. And it's just, you know, does he deserve the money? And No, like, no like, not at all. Like, some people, I saw some videos that they say they do, that he does, because he does put time and effort into his videos. I, I can understand that, but okay. the thing is, like, it, you know, Azra, if you want to say something? Um, go ahead, I'll, tell, I'll say that, it That, right. like, for me, even though he does put effort into his videos, he's just putting effort in the copying of someone else's video and making it exactly <laughs> like it. And, you know, that is effort if you want to, you know, logically say effort. But that's just, I don't, that's just not morally right to do that. Let's put it this way. Wait, Somebody let me make an analogy notes. real quick. All, All right. right. Okay, it's like the Snuggie, okay? So, say you're going to invent the Snuggie, hey. and you did. No one knew about it. It's, this is all theoretical. All and right. then someone else made the exact same thing, but called it the Snug O. And instead of, and that got big, and your idea didn't, your idea didn't get big, and you did it before. And Legally, the guy, I mean, it's yeah. not even as close as that. It's closer well, than it that. Well, like, it kind of is. I mean, yeah. if, oh, well, yes. legally, you can sue. If you can somehow prove that you had that idea first, they can get money for it. No, no, no okay. Uh, but this is like, the problem with... Samsung and Apple did that, because Samsung was claiming Apple stole their idea for the iPad. Like, the thing is... We're talking, okay, we have to kind of bring it back to YouTube because you're talking about, like, marketing and all that is true. You guys are making good points, but there's patents and stuff and there's other things, especially patents. If you patent something, you own it, nobody else can copy it, and you have legal documents. But for YouTube, an idea, it's intangible. You can't, it's it's just, you know, there. And even though you can, like, it, it's not morally right to just take, a, like, there should be some things, you know, claiming videos, but if they remade it, it's... There's a really fine line to it, and you can't patent a tips and tricks videos. But and, you know, time out. In the legal world, you've got things like the just. You've got like the law. You've got <laughs> patents. Hey, fight me, okay? No, no, <laughs> this, is, this is serious. No, wait, wait, sh wait. No, let me let me finish. All right. But in, on YouTube, instead instead of like so, instead of someone suing someone else, the viewers. Do you do you, do you realize how many subscribers Raw Instinct is losing? Yeah, oh, wow. not enough. Not what? enough, yeah, but no, he still enough. is losing. That is some yeah, sort he's, of justice. He still is losing. But the thing is, it's not continuous, uh, not continuous justice because eventually everything gets dull, and eventually people are going to stop. And the guy's like, done. Like I know he, I know like you can't really go up from here. But at the same time, he's going to start gaining back subscribers. He's going to be like G Unit, like everybody dislikes his videos, but he's still going to be making money off him. He's still going to do that. I mean, G Unit, uh, granted, he did. He doesn't really make. Like at least I don't know. He doesn't really make gameplays or commentaries anymore. But Raw Instincts, I can kind of see him still because no, this is his that. main source of income, at least as far as I know. And he Jeez, makes no, quite wait, a bit of money. He's a high off schooler. He's a high schooler. Yeah. Dude, Gene Unit still hasn't recovered. Yeah. I'm pretty. Still hasn't. Hold on. Hold on. Has Gene I... not quit yet. No. He had like a hundred and fifty thousand no before the fake nude. God, he, he should get out of recovered. here. No way. He, he's I, I'm he's just... at like a hundred right now. And he's I don't not, know what you guys are talking about. He loses about. subs. Um, are you talking about the fake nuke? Do you know? No. I, okay, I, Sean. I, I wasn't around. <laughs> you honestly, this have to link you to this. Oh, my God. Okay, you're going to need to see it after this podcast, but it, oh, it, it's, it's it funny. <laughs> Gio, I watch, this took me I two weeks. I watched a guy named uh, Moho. He's on Fear. And he had this big thing with like, another competitive player named Fizzer. 
and everyone like Moho's videos were like half and half like dislike and it's back to normal now. It only took like three weeks and all of his videos have normal like ratios now. Okay, no, but that's another person hating on somebody because of, you know, whatever reasons they had. But in this case, it's just like, you know, it's a moral dilemma. And it's just kind of, you know, like, people aren't just going to forget so easily. Like, the nuke video, personally for me, I think people should stop hating. It's gone. It's past. And um, I'm not going to click on that link, Jack. I know what that is. You should change it. I knew it was it. a streamer. <laughs> okay. I knew it was a streamer. A- anyway, yeah, we're on Skype if you didn't know and we're, we can post things. But anyway. And this little whore over here sends me a link to a screamer. <laughs> I got Palette with it yesterday so hey, bad. I got you. Palette's... I'm plotting. I'm plotting. Wait, whoa, I'm... wait. On, I typed in fake nuke, and apparently Raw Instinct has his own little video about this. Oh, my God. Uh <laughs> Hey, more hate. Why not? I mean, you know, the community loves he, drama. He cat like I saw a commentary about or um, like a vlog about you know like Wings of Redemption made it, and he's just like, and I I can see this. Like he said, raw instincts won't give you the lie of day unless you're a big commentator, and yeah, that's really that's evident. And like for me, it's just making that wait, fake news. Wings say this. Oh uh, wait, yeah, Wings of Redemption said it. Like I, I like. I don't think. I'm sorry, but I don't think anyone should be taking moral advice from Wings of Redemption. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's not I don't moral. Think anyone, I think he talked about be- arson and insurance fraud. What's wrong with that? <laughs> uh, it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the problem. Burning the truck was a smart idea. <laughs> it was not. No, honestly, <laughs> that's how you get a prison for ten years. Okay, honestly, okay. I don't look, think Gene Unit's video is number one on Machinima Respawn. He wow. still lives in Infinity. Yeah, he does. Infamy. I th- his okay. channel is gone. I'm positive. No, 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 no it's not. Still there. He but he's posts, losing like, subs every like, month. He pulls like, every month or so. Some random. He plays this game called Rift or something, and it's just I don't know. It's like it's like a it's like a WoW and it's like, kind of a popular game. He yeah. loses subs yeah. every day. Though. Wait, can yeah. you guys please link me to his channel? I can't find it. All just right, type it in G Unit G Unit with a one instead of an I one two three. Yeah. And so, anyway, for him, like, personally, like, I know I'll make a hate on it, but I don't really see why people keep hating on G. Oh, damn it, it's still new- here. Yeah, yeah it, it is still there, but the thing is, for me, like, for me, I understand it was faking a nuke, and I understand that people will be upset, but really, you need to get over yourselves. It was just faking a nuke, it was two years ago, I think it was more than that, and, you know, who cares anymore? Okay, like, wait, time out, though. Are you really gonna... Ask the Call of Duty community to move to on. To forget something to move on. Honestly, you're okay, talking you know, about a bunch no, of thirteen-year-olds no, no. with high voices. That okay, 12. just to prove this. Hey, you leave me alone. Rift. Yeah, he makes a lot of rift. Top videos. comment: fifty-eight likes. Fake nuke. <laughs> Second top comment: six <laughs> likes. Fake nuke. I I th- I think that's rightfully so. I don't know. I mean, like, the most creative again, I've ever seen. Again. I'm just kidding. No, actually, in all honesty, G Unit only did that for entertainment. Yeah. I, I feel I, like what he, he deserved. Money. He already got it. He no, maybe, maybe money, okay. maybe to get big on YouTube. Right, anything. Right. Yeah, just can continue. I have something to say after. But I feel like he already served his time. Yeah. Well, not honestly, according to them. What did you fake this? Okay, too? okay. I like <laughs> as, I think it's, like I think he's right on the count that he already served his time, and I think he did make it for entertainment purposes, and you know to get maybe more exposure since he just got accepted to Machinima. That was his first post. But the thing is that he but made he another made nuke video, others. which I I like. I for the first nuke video, I felt bad for him, but the second one, the knife only one, did you see that? Like he was made that a fake piece. too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He, he faked it. He, he faked did a two dual, others no, no. that nobody else saw. Yeah, no. He did a dual com with only use me blade about that his knife you know. only uh nuke in a free for all use a ninja and like for me, that is when I kind of felt like he kind of deserved the hate and that wasn't it for entertainment purposes. Like he went like if he just posted it, sure. But he did a dual com of only use me blade, and he yep. was just lying out of his teeth. And it was just like I'm just like, oh god, man. And like I another could, one. Awesome. I could do that. 
I like, could get an iPhone. Okay, wait. If he did another, because he, he did, saw but the it, success it, it got a ton of yeah, 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 exactly. He, As deserved right. what he, he deserved it. Okay, I'm done. Like honestly, and oh, top comment. Hey guys, it's Faggy here, aka Nuke Faker. <laughs> that sounds like That's a not even the most creative ones I've seen. <laughs> um, I think we will be off this uh, G Unit topic. Oh, okay, because... okay, no, no. Our next topic is about hate. <laughs> Yay! I yeah, yeah. I think we covered that. Racist okay. jokes. No, 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 no. Okay, no, we uh, we have to talk about. I saw a lot of commentaries about hate and. I hate you. Moving on. So no, no, okay. Like I'm mostly talking about Jack and myself since you guys don't really have YouTube channels. I like, have no hate. I'm too small. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like other people, like a lot of people, they. I don't know, they talk about hate, it's like, why is this video getting so much hate, and all this stuff, and I'm just like, you know you only have three dislikes, or like, three to two dislikes on a video that has like, ten likes, and it's just like, that's not that bad. I don't know, man, if the dislike, I don't know, man, if the dislike bar... Your dislike ratio is pretty high. (laughs) Um, I mean, it wasn't us that disliked all your videos, pal, I mean, I don't know what's going on now. But honestly, if the dislike bar is... Yeah, hello? A third of the... A third I of it? I don't think I'm going to watch the video. <clears throat> no. Really? I would say a nine of it. I would say, like, I, I don't... If I've never seen the video before, and now that I have this little plug-in that shows me the like bar before I click on the video, I probably want, like, a nine to... Nine to one ratio. Okay. And it depends on who it is. For me, it has if to I've be... I've seen person before. It has to be, for me, it has to be around 70%, 70, 70% like. If it's not, then I know That's there's something That's not just what I said, it. Palette. You're so original. Maybe you're copying me. Maybe <laughs> no, you should make a YouTube video about just Andrew. Just like this. Or we'll work on your 40, 45,000 subscribers yeah, two days. Yeah, Screw yeah, yeah. you. Okay, well. Unoriginal. Anyway, like, about hate, like, how would you handle if you got a bunch of hate on a video? Like, okay, well, I don't, you, I don't really make YouTube. I know, videos, but if so you can, did. I start. Yeah, yeah, sure. And Jack Livingston or Jack spamming faggot in the chat. No, I don't think I would care that much. If I got out of ten likes, three dislikes, why would it matter to me? If I truly enjoyed YouTube, if I, if people, old people say they do it as a hobby, but if they're complaining about their like and dislikes, they're c- complaining about how few views they're getting. Yeah. How little favorites they're getting, that's bullcrap. Yeah, and then that's not a hobby anymore, because of a hobby, you know, you don't really care what really happens, you know, it's just a, a thing, you know, on the side that you're doing that you like to do. But if people are complaining about views, subscribers, inactive subscribers, and all that stuff, then it's more than a hobby. And, like, people all the time, they say, I'm not getting enough likes on this video, or views on this video, and I'm just like, I understand that, but really, like, People complain that because they put a lot of time in the video, they deserve a lot of, like, views and stuff, and I don't necessarily agree with that. I put a lot of time in my videos, and if I don't get, like, the views I want, I don't go crying about it. I just say, okay, well, um, what can I do to improve that? Well, I mean, you don't cry in public, but... <laughs> God, right. You're hilarious. Honestly, I wish I was funny as you. Maybe, maybe just maybe I could pick up some bitches like you. <laughs> what were you saying, Jack? <laughs> I don't care, man. He's he's diving deep in pussy. That uh. Okay. 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 On. Moving on. No, 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 no. Okay, no, Jack. Okay, one, one, one more question. If if you did have a successful YouTube channel and like you're getting maybe 500 views, I, I'm I'm assuming that relatively successful and. Let's say you get a lot of hate on those videos, just random hate calling you, you know, like, bad or whatever, and there's a lot of hate on your video. Would you care or give them the lie today? They're going to have to do a lot better than just calling me bad. <laughs> what What happens if you have, if you don't get, in, like, as many views as you do subscribers? Like, let's say you have a thousand subscribers and you're only getting a hundred views per video. Would you continue going on that channel? Cut off. Huh? You cut off. You cut yeah. out. Okay, yeah. so let me repeat the question. That if you had a thousand subs and you're only getting a hundred views per video, would you keep posting on that channel? Uh, it depends on the reasons that if that I'm getting a hundred views. Like if I really messed up or something, then I don't know. If it's getting boring, 
maybe. But if it's like a lot of them are just inactive now, mm-hmm. I'd, I'd probably continue. For me, right. it'd be like, oh, carry on. No, 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 no. I said all right. I like that was a okay. that was a good response. All right, for me, it would be like if I were to do YouTube, and I kind of debated that a long, long time ago. It would be because of a hobby. Because what? Four years ago, when I started watching good old Excal videos and Blame Truth in them, there were the videos weren't monetized, right? Mm-hmm. There are no ads. Nope. nope. And the only reason to do YouTube w- would be as a hobby. And if I got a bunch of hate, if if I didn't get as many views as I should, or if I thought I should, I would probably yeah. be because I did something wrong. I'm not as funny as I think I am. People suck, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But I honestly wouldn't stop making videos if I... Alright. Uh, the people most people who, hate him. That, that guy who camps would be somebody who, did, who does it for a hobby still. That yeah. guy who camps is one of the most legitimate people in this community. I really like he's, him. Like, he's like the only one left. I yeah. still don't think his videos are monetized. That um. They are. They definitely they are. They are. Yeah, but well, he yeah. refused a machinima contract like multiple times. Yeah, he did. But he's he's a really good guy, and he's actually entertaining. And I like his play style, his shotguns, <laughs> stuff he does with shotguns, just like Excal. That's the only. That's the way I play. That's funny. That um. But, also, like I want to get into that monetizing thing. That people started this out. Not looking for any money and stuff. They didn't even know there was money in this involved in this. You know, they buy HTP virus, dazzles, whatever, and just start making it for the fun of it. Now a lot of people, especially starting off, like I see little channels and stuff that like have advertisements and like thirty second like you know ads on their videos when they only have five views. And like you cut out again. Okay, sorry. That um. Also, I kind of hear echo. So anyway, that um. Uh, when you monetize videos, like a lot of people are starting off these days, you know, little commentaries that they only have five subs and like five views, yet they have their videos running ads on them. I don't understand that. Like, why get in it when, like, most people that get in it for the money never actually succeed in any sort of way. Are you well, saying Brian's that my, are you saying that the video I did for a school <laughs> project shouldn't be monetized? How dare you? I mean, the, honestly, the goal and the audacity you must possess to challenge my rights like this is unforgivingly incredible. I think you should kill yourself right now. Delete channel, get the hell out of here. Uh, See, that's how I imagine most of the people in the COD commentary. Did, did anyone... People make... People monetize five view videos? Yes, I didn't know you could yep. do that. You can. You, like, Damn, once, straight. Why wouldn't oh, yeah. you? Come on, man. Dude, once you make a YouTube channel, they say, do you wish to monetize videos, earn money, blah, blah, blah. And most people click yes, and they're like, oh, I want to make money and stuff. Well, the truth is you're not. And anyway, some people, a lot of people complain about having ads on videos like, oh, I have to sit through a 30-second ad, or I have to I have to sit through a skippable ad, which is the, the most darn thing. People, like, bring YouTube back to, like, you know, 2007 and stuff when there's no ads. But the thing is, people, like... A lot of YouTubers do what they do because they're making money off of it. Like, they wouldn't put as much time into making videos every single day and making the high-quality content that they do if they weren't being paid. Like, Freddie W., I know he does it, like, because, like, he went into school for it and stuff, but, like, other channels, like, you know, like, blogging channels and, like, other channels that post every single day pretty good content, they wouldn't do it without getting paid because... It turns into this thing where a hobby, a hobby is like posting every week or so or every every month, you know, just uh, just to have fun. But then it turns into a job where you post every single day entertaining people and people just don't understand that like ads are essential. I would say that ads are the reason YouTube got so big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody I mean, wants to do it unless they can be paid. That's yeah, not true. That's, no, okay. that's not entirely it's true. Such it's such a motivation, though. I, it is I, a huge I feel motivation. like monetizing videos, getting money out of your videos is motivation. But honestly, what I really like is when someone when someone does YouTube as a hobby. Like the old school guys, like Pyro Puncher. He's, yep. he's just into college. That guy who camps. That guy who camps. Back who when else? Extras was actually cool and not a money whore. I didn't, I don't, I wouldn't call extras a money whore necessarily. Oh, are you serious? He bought a Mercedes. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's okay, tough. no, I'm that's not gonna, tough. I'm not gonna call a kid with an E550 a money oh, whore. Oh, God. 
Is that what that was? It's that was a, it was a it was a 2010 Mercedes E550, and jeez, if I was making a salary like him, I would dip a lot more money into a car just because that's me. I, mean, I, I wouldn't would... show it all. Yeah, yeah, it was kind it's of putting terrible. blunt out there. Also, I just want to let you the viewers know that Azrif and Lance are car guys. Any questions, and leave a comment section below because they know about cars. Me and Jack, well, Jack knows a little bit more than I do. I, I don't really know too much about cars. But anyway, I, know, I just know names. Yeah, like, I can tell you, like, model. I can't tell you, like, good, cool, in, like, cool air intakes or anything. I could do that for too you. Too in depth, yeah. Whichever car costs the most and goes the fastest must be the best. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, I don't want to get out of this too Ford much, Prius. but cost most and fastest are not relevant. A 90,000 GTR. Around the Nurburgring is faster than a Bugatti Veyron, which costs millions <laughs> of dollars. I'm just putting that out there. One point. You're forgetting the Toyota Prius. Fifty. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Okay. okay wait, to... wait, wait, wait. Before I, I just want to put this out there. All right. A Toyota Prius is more does more damage to the environment <laughs> than all, any other car. Forty-one miles to the gallon. But do you know what's in the engine, Jack? Do you know I what goes care. inside? I honestly don't care. Okay, let me tell you. You, okay, you know what, so... Andrew, You can sit there with your little Audi going, oh, I have to go to the gas station every week. Well, I'll go, you know, <laughs> I don't even remember how to put gas in my car. Yeah. It's really five five like stupid Ford commercials. <laughs> okay, stupid time Ford. out. <laughs> idiot, Jack. Oh, sweet Jesus. The nickel that goes inside a Toyota's battery is mined in Canada. And yep. nickel mining is really, really bad for the oh, yeah, environment. It is. Shh. Just shit tons, like a shit storm of pouring acid rain. And then it gets shipped with oil, tons of oil, to, I believe it's Germany, where yeah. it's turned into a foam. Um, then to China, which where it's turned into a battery. And then to Japan, where it's put inside the engines. And some nerd-ass scientist, or not scientist, mathematician found out that it does more damage to the environment in a long run than, say, a 10-mile-per-gallon Hummer. I didn't think that was a... I thought that well, was a uh, very known fact. You no, know what? No the one environment's not going to be destroyed in my lifetime, so <laughs> I think you want to pass the gallon. Exactly. Yeah, my That's cool. You know what? <laughs> I want to put that quote on, like, the front page of Greenpeace... And give them your home phone number, <laughs> your cell phone number, your license plate, <laughs> your address. Hey, you know, and... of all these countries, let's move on to the Olympics. All that's, right, that's okay, Let, let's. Okay, oh. let's segue on the Olympics. Okay, okay. Olympics. Phelps is better than Lotti. Yes, you can suck it so yeah. much. Phelps. Hey. Did anybody actually watch the race? I'm just I'm glad they're American. Honestly, would you I... would you like to be beat in swimming by like? Uganda, an African country? No. Would you? Gotcha. Exactly. Just be happy it's American. Who gives a crap about Phelps or Lockheed? Phelps, Phelps is better than Lockheed. The you most... better back off now. <laughs> okay, okay, the Phelps. most glamorous... What is it? The most... most decorated. Decorated Olympian. Okay, I he think that's enough. gold today over Lockheed. Yeah, good. No, who cares? I do. Why? Phelps is hot. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, speaking of homosexuals, anyone hear about chick? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, uh, no, no, no. That's our next time, but I want to talk about what do you guys want to see in the Olympics? What are your main events like? Hand watching? tennis. Track. I want to see people <laughs> playing tennis with their hands. I have never watched a full Keep Olympic on track event. and swimming. Ever. Okay. Oh, the the best thing. Okay, what's the most like? What's the weirdest thing you kind of want to see in Olympics? M me personally, I watched the full game of water polo. Black rape. Water polo is weird. What? Water polo. Have you, as have you seen water polo? No, I'm not a homosexual. Polo. Water, no, polo. water polo is like oh my, people like, train so hard for that sport. That sport's it's weird really. because they blow the whistle and the guy's like, okay, you go to the, the to like the box and the box is just like a floating, you know, like a floating little just like. I don't know, it's like a bunch of rings, I don't know, I'm not sure what they're called, but they just have a little box set up, and they just swim in it, and just stay... It's basically it, soccer it's just, in the water. Yeah, and it's like, I, I don't know, it just looks so weird. Anybody know how far, like, how deep the water polo, um, you know, the ten, pool is? Ten. Ten feet, okay, okay. Because, like, you know, if it, if, it was, if it wasn't deep enough to, like, you know, where they can touch, then that would be kind of cheap. Those but anyway. guys are ripped. Yeah. <laughs> okay, know. I'm watching, uh... 
the UCLA versus USC men's 2009 NCAA championship of water polo. Uh, why? This shit is weird. It is. Well, it wait. is really weird. Okay, talking about the Olympics, did you guys see what the men's basketball did? No. Uh, they oh, destroyed they the record. Destroyed everyone. Every yeah. big, 158 points or something. What? No way. I didn't, I didn't see that. I saw like two no. Oh my god, they they broke 100 points with five minutes left in the third quarter. Oh, wait. If who are if they going two, against? Uh, Uganda or something. Oh, I, I, I watched Tuna- Tunisia, or whatever. Okay, Lance, what? If there's two like main uh, sports that America should dominate in, it's basketball and swimming. Oh yeah. Are you oh. sure? I'm pretty sure every African country in the world should be the U.S. in swimming. Black okay. people can swim. It's a pretty well-known fact. What are you talking about? The stereotype is black people drown. Oh, wait. Is that so? <laughs> that was the yeah, stereotype. Yeah, I, I, I thought that, that, that was the stereotype. I thought black people hated swimming. I'm kidding. It, yeah, I a- a- Anyway, like, the thing is for me... It would be douchebags. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. But for me, it's just like... Running is, you know, like Usain Bolt and stuff like sprinting, but then... Black people? <laughs> yeah, we can compete that way. America's... But when you get into soccer and stuff, like, I think the women's, our women's soccer team should win. The reason no, why... No, 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 hang in there. No, 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 Hang in there. No, 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 all the other countries besides Brazil and some main other you know, first world countries, we put so much into women's freaking soccer that we should at least Can get I up see there. Statistics. What? Can I see some statistics, please? Okay, um, but, but anyway, didn't did you guys know that there's women basketball? You know, Olympic women yeah. basketball. I did not yeah. know that. But you didn't. Oh my god! I did there's know that women play basketball. But... They shouldn't. There's no <laughs> kitchen out there. Dude, 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 <laughs> you watch them play, it's just, you know, oh, yeah. It's sad. Okay, guys. Uh, European League play basketball? It's like it's like needs to for come the back. worst team in the NBA. <laughs> baseball needs to come back. All right, Adam, no, what are you going to say? No, okay, one sec. Uh, I'm just going to link a video to you and show you a specific time in the video. And that is the epitome of women's basketball, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm watching the ad now just because, you know, ads are great. I no, I have ad blocker. <laughs> yeah, you I know what? I'm not myself. stealing from commentators. You know, come on, man. Why are you downloading ad block? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, oh, wait. Let me about... send you guys this link. I want no. to talk about China taking children away to train for the Olympics. I don't see the problem. I do. That's not I, fair. Wait, wait guys. They have no communist way. advantage. Okay, Swergy, okay. if you ever hear this, like, why are you inviting me to a freaking call? Anyway, so, wait, what What time of the video was it? 46. Go to 46 seconds on the video to the face plants on Amazing Film. Oh, my God, there's life. an ad Oh, screen. I saw that. No, ad block. That is I the, saw that. Wait, that what is, is it? I linked it in the Skype call. It's called To the Face Plants. Amazing. Oh, I saw this one. Yep. I, I'm pretty sure everyone's wait, seen it. Wait, guys. Go to this link. This basically explains Africa's basketball team. Kobe Bryant signs the shoe of a player on Team Tunisia after the game. They are so bad that they look up to another pro athlete's team. <laughs> they got beat by like 52 points. Yeah, they got beat pretty bad. Anyway. And they were so- walking up getting photographs with LeBron signing things with Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Kobe okay. Bryant also raped a woman when he was number eight, remember? <laughs> Shut, up. Shut up. Okay. Anyway, I really want to talk yeah. about I want to talk yeah, about it the competitive killed six million Jews. Okay. 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 I want to talk about the competitive nature of the Olympics. Like in gymnastics, once somebody does a good thing in gymnastics, you know, a good run or like whatever they did, like a person from the from another country would go up and hug him and stuff and they'll be good job, good job. Well, I don't see the competitive aspect in that. Like, what the What heck? is wrong with sportsmanship, Palette? What is yeah. wrong with it? No, it's just, it's just, just like, talking. they just knocked your score out, and you're just going to, like, high-five him and, like, you know, give him some love for it. Oh. We're trying not to start World War III. What is wrong with you? Yes, no. thank you. Did you not see what happened in World War II? Are you seriously going to piss another German off? <laughs> Honestly. And then okay. the Chinese. The you know, really, I didn't Wait, see the Jack, problem with concentration up. camps. Jack, sh- 
<laughs> that is too far. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, I want to talk about disqualifying for trying to lose. There was this article on the news of, like about, uh, about a day ago. No, no, it's because, okay, let me just give you guys the main point of the article. Was um this team, I'm not sure, I think it was like Badman or something. In the China. before, yeah, before um, you know, before the actual like competition begins, you know, the pre- pre- wait, wait, preliminaries. Wait, 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 I just want to stop you there. Did you say badminton? Badminton. Who gives a crap? Um, <sighs> whatever. Okay. I do. Okay. Nobody really cares about badminton, but anyway, like before the uh, preliminary, it was during the preliminaries. They lost on purpose so they can play people that weren't as good. You know, like trying to rig it so they go farther in there. Do you guys think that's right? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. They're really? using a really, they're using a fair, they're playing fair. I think it's perfectly what? fine. No, I, they're playing by the rules, but at the same time, it's like the Olympics are supposed to be the best of the best, and if you're yeah. trying to lose so that you can beat down on lower ranked teams, I don't think that's right. Yeah, it's say, fine. Wait, say this. Say you were on a football team. Okay, say so you were oh, on a God. football team in the league. Okay, guys, bear with me. Okay. And out of the 32 teams in the competition, you get put with the best team, okay? <laughs> you get put with the best team in the first round, okay? And say you're a really good team and you're better than everyone else. Do you think that it's do you think it's fair to get knocked out of the competition just because you were one step below the very best? Okay. Azur brings up a good point because like oh, shit I bring up a good point. Okay, yeah. Like the thing is for me I don't personally think it's right, but at the same time, like, it, okay, if you look at, like, a bracket, you know, those trees, like, going up to where two people, um, you know, like, the championships, if the two best teams play, like, in the first round, and, like, you know, for me, at least, it wouldn't feel right that you get kicked out the first round and you don't get silver when you should have beaten everybody else and played them at the start. Like, I think what Olympics... Exactly. Do, yeah. yeah. Like, Wait, so why are you getting on the... This team in badminton. Why are you getting on their case? Because it's not like that. Because it's it, like it's it's supposed okay. to be. You try your hardest every single game. This is the Olympics. You're trying to show how yeah, great it, you're. You know, it's 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 not the whole story that you're hearing here. What happened is, it's like China is seated number one, maybe number two, depending on who they had. What they were doing is they were losing to teams that were clearly worse to them, blatantly, so that they would get put in the losers black bracket. And thus get to play all these people, like you're saying, where they're going number 10 versus number 1. The last place team versus the very best. And then they would move up through the loser's bracket easier than they would in the real bracket and risk not losing in the winner's bracket. Hold on, hold on. So it's kind of like using the FMG9s. It's yes. it's like it's exploiting, but, you know, it's just frowned upon, not illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I hate the that. The best way to... Put it is. Have you ever heard like the playing of somebody where you say, "Oh man, I'm really bad at like uh playing a uh, uh, throwing darts," and then you blow the first match and they go, "Oh, okay, well let me bet you some more," and then you come out and you show that you're actually really good. Oh, it's, it's like that. There, there's a they're name blowing for that. the first Hust- round and then basically it's hustling. hustling, dude. That's hustling. Or, That's hustling. Yeah, hustling. I want to give credit to Lance because he said it first, really but it is calm hustling. down. Not a big deal. Who came up? With okay. That. Anyway, I, I don't care. It's like, it, like most of the time. Is... I saw, I saw Drake and Josh episode on it. Yes. I know <laughs> that that's kind of how I Anyone know. Else? It. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, it was like about pool and stuff. Anyway, so like that. I, that was just the two cents about disqualifying. I don't really think it's morally right, but it is within the guidelines. It's just looked down upon. But anyway, so let's get into Chick Fil A and. They did this, I think, yesterday. They had an act against gay marriage, and um, what do you guys think about that gay rights and stuff? Can I say something more about the Olympics? Uh, sure. No. No, what do you? Oh, sorry. Just stop. Just stop. Uh, what do you guys think about the um, U.S. team using? I, I said no. God damn it. <laughs> Chinese, Let's just go. Chinese uniforms. Wait, what? Using what? Oh no, 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 they're made in China. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Wait, were, what? You were honestly they, gonna, gonna complain that one thing that represents the U.S. is made in China? You're gonna see, complain about okay, that? No, what? personally, I don't care. But at the same time, why didn't you take the time to make you know the Olympic athletic you know gear for your American you know representatives? Pretty much because it's just, China makes everything. I know, but at least you could have spared, spared it. You could have spared it this one time. Spared it this one time. I think that was a wrong move, and they should have spared it at least this one time. I was no, hold on, hold on. I was watching the news, and somebody said that it was actually a, 
it, it's not a big deal because America is too like educated and skilled in things like technology to be worrying about making textiles. Okay, yeah. we we need to be focusing on making the jets yeah. that carry those textiles over here. That's a good point. I think that's a little self-centered of America, but I understand. Oh, because that's that's a new thing for us being. <laughs> oh yeah, that's new. And to us. long live the Confederacy. <laughs> God, Jack. Oh my yeah. God, you really have to just stop. Do you guys ever take road trips going like in the middle of nowhere, and you always see those like yard sales with giant Confederate flag blankets, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the South will rise again. Yeah. See, that's one of the things I love about the U.S. You can say what you want, and then, yeah. Have no consequences for most of those things. Somebody though. said they saw someone with a Confederate flag in our city. I don't believe that. No, I've seen no. a of Confederate flags around where I live. No way. I I mean, I've driven down through, like, Louisiana and oh Georgia God. and redneck states. Yeah, I see Confederate flags yeah, like, all the time. That's what I mean. And, like, really, really... In the middle of nowhere places. But here, no, I don't know. Nah, so. not not here. But anyway, yeah, I don't want to go. You, I kind of want to drop guys, this uh, this Olympic up. and uh, Confederate flag <laughs> business. I want to start on Chick Fil A. And what is your um your views on gay marriage? Like, do you guys think they should have rights or they shouldn't? What like Jack? Okay, you want to start I mean, or Azur? I mean, I'm pretty sure in the Constitution it says. All right, I know I don't know shit about. What don't the ask me. Says. Hell, I don't really care. <laughs> Okay, but I'm pretty sure. Why? Why is it not allowed? I don't see why everyone has such a stand it's against. It's a religious thing. It, yeah, it's, it's religious. religious. Thing. No, but the thing is, there's a separation between church and state. It's no one cares about It's those stated those in the Constitution, and Republican. they're bringing it into politics so many times. The Republicans, yeah. you know, the Republicans are Christian because they blatantly say it. It's just like you know, Mitt Romney or not Mitt Romney. Sorry, no, 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 Rick Perry. Rick Perry. He's I like. Hate no, 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 okay, what he did in his little commercial was like, he starts off like this, I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit that I'm a Christian, it's just like, you're saying that to a 80 to 90% Christian country, how could you be scared? Jesus, I am so disappointed, Rick, because, <laughs> because Lucius might cast him down and curse him. <laughs> I can't even wait, say wait, wait, let me, just, let me repeat word for word what he says. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian, but you don't need to be in the pew every Sunday <laughs> to know that there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military. Okay, can, can you stop right there? Azur, no, 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 no. Azur, can you stop right there? I want to discuss that. When gays... Okay, no, no. You have a problem with gays risking their lives to keep our security in our country giving their lives and their effort and all they, like, have for our country, and you're wrong with that because they're gay? What is this thought process? I have no problem with that. It's just I don't really want to know if when you go home at night, you have a guy there who is ass-breaking you. (laughs) Why does it matter? It's not affecting you. Yeah. Yeah, I I think think the don't ask, don't tell rule is... Pretty, pretty important. But I mean, I don't think it should matter. You're in the military. You guys are together fighting jihads and terrorists and communists and stuff. I don't think it matters. See, see, personally for me, I'm funny. not gay. I really couldn't care less about the rights. But the thing is, for me, if it doesn't affect me and most people, it doesn't like gay gay marriage and all that stuff. It doesn't affect anybody. It it really doesn't. And why do Except people... Except the kid that was adopted. Was I guess. Far. That's that's the only thing. But the thing is, that they're not even worried about that. They're just like, this should not This should be frowned upon. This shouldn't even be happening. And the thing is, for me, it's just like, why do you care? How is it affecting you? How can you live your life, that you know, like, thinking it, it affects you in any sort of way? The only okay, thing about... that a marriage does... Wait, wait one second. The only thing a marriage does is a legal document. It isn't religious in any way. It's a legal document between two intimate people. Not intimate, not intimate. Okay, Pal, Whatever, how about you know, this? you get what I mean. Your, your best friend comes out tomorrow and he tells you he's gay. Are right. you trying to do something here? Are you, are you trying Jack, to come I'm out? pretty sure your pilot's pretty good. Are, you're pretty good friends with Pallet. <laughs> He's trying to work well, this in here. I hear you are also, Azure. No, I'm not. I hate Pilot. Come on. I hate him also. I'm just saying, if your best friend came out and he told you that he was gay, would 
Would you care? Would you care? Wait, why would you care? He is your best friend. You like him for his personality, personality yeah, just not his he's... sexual orientation. Exactly. We are fuck. A- anyway, like, there's a stereotype being, you know, gays are more feminine, and I understand that. It's probably, that's probably true. But the thing is, for oh, me, what? is if I still befen- befriended him, even though he was a little bit more feminine, why should I care if he's gay? That It's just a statement. It isn't like, you know, he's going to change his life now because he came out. No. He's still my best friend. Do you guys um, have any gay people at your school? I'm sure you do. Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> we have those guys that... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't. I don't hate them because they're gay. I hate them because they're annoying. No, I mean, I'm not gonna. I, I would not like to not be around them because they're annoying as hell. They I mean, are. You've got those people that it's like they don't know they're gay yet, but they're clearly fags. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have people that say they're not gay, but like y- you can't deny the wrist motions. Oh, wait, and- let me just wait. Time out. <laughs> Before you say anything, let me just, just list through one of these guys one of these clear faggots yet not out of the closet yet yeah i'm gonna look down his facebook and read it to you okay <laughs> oh god i know who is is this ks okay yes it is okay KS. okay okay <laughs> voice lesson was great got to squeeze in my favorite song for r&b into the recital i have nothing by whitney houston yeah this recital is going to rock oh my god I have almost found the most perfect winter outfit. All I need is some male Uggs. Yep. God. No, Uggs that's okay. Fruit. That's pretty straight. They make those. Male oh. Uggs. Oh, male right. Uggs. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely straight. All right, Conditioner continue. is my hair's best friend. <laughs> Conditioner? Conditioner. I thought that was just oh, a money. No, 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 no. no. These two kill scam. it. These two kill it. Going to ballet, it'll be the last lesson for the summer, but hopefully I'll be able to continue in September. Oh and then God. after, fun and hard class of ballet, if you know what I mean, you know, like a penis. <laughs> I was one of a male-only class, you know, because they're all gay, getting closer to my left testicle and right splits. He says splits, but we clearly know he means testicle. Bounce got a lot better. You know, when there's not a dick up your ass. But I need to work on pointing the full foot and turning out. Why do you? Why are you sharing this all? All this information with people? <laughs> because it just needs to be heard. But, but do am I? Do I do? Do you think of me as someone who cares about what anyone else? Thinks? I'm not exactly. involved. Okay, I okay. I just kind of want to jump on to another thing that you know, Chick Fil A. It doesn't open on Sundays because the owner is really religious and stuff. That is so and, inconvenient. And do you think? Oh God, it's, yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Do you oh. think it's right to mix business and faith together? I don't think that's a good business system. I mean, Absolutely no, wait, not. I want their chicken after business. Sunday school. Wait, <laughs> I think since Chick Fil A is one of their companies that is openly religious, and they say they don't like it, I think that's fine. If if a company does things, like, beyond what the customers see, I don't think that's fair. Yep. Does that well, make sense? Yeah. I mean, I know I'm being really vague and shit, yeah. but... I mean, uh, I understand that. If want to, it's their profit they're losing. Yeah, but, yeah. it's I mean, true, but, like, I don't think it's smart. No Sunday chicken, then I would have a problem, because... I think Sunday chicken's worth the revolution. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never even eaten a Chick Fil A, and I love their chicken. Okay, personally, now, after like, like my church service, I like to have chicken, and Chick Fil A's closed, and that bothers me. What? How was that needed in this conversation? Was that <laughs> necessary to add? Not really. Check. Exactly. I'm gonna make you feel bad about it because you're shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going on to our last topics, but if you had to pick one commentary to watch only, what would who would it be? And me and Jack and Lance talked about this, but I kind of want to get your guys. Help me. <laughs> Wait, yes. is it one channel or one commentator? One commentator or or mm, commentator. Okay. Definitely. There's a lot of commentators. Yeah, commentator. commentator. All right, yeah, one commentator. Okay, you guys can go. Okay, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. want me to start off? or? Yeah. All right, I'll I'm start gonna... off. I pick XCal. Even though... Damn you! That was mine! <laughs> yeah, okay, I you'll give. Okay, as if you'll give your reasons after mine. I pick XCal because he does a lot of playthroughs and stuff, and he's just an entertaining person, and he does a lot of playthroughs of different games and stuff, and I think that I can continue watching him 
probably, you know, if I only had to watch one commentator. So that's my reasoning. So as if you want to expand on no, anything. I'll wait, I'll wait for Lance and Jack. All right. Jack. Oh, man. Or Lance. This is really hard because I'm trying to think about who's going to make the most videos. It has to be a gaming-related commentator. God. Yep. Um, Put you on the spot. I mean, gaming ones are the only ones who would make a bunch. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I would watch SourceFed if I had to pick one channel. Is uh, it one commentator? Is a, yeah. It's... No. Dang it. No, one commentator. You have to pick him. I don't know. I would say probably, like... I don't want to say Tobuscus because he doesn't do anything that I really enjoy. He's just he makes so many videos. I don't know. He's, he's pretty entertaining. Oh, he's pretty my, entertaining. oh, wait. Back back to the, you know, homosexual flaming faggot here. My outfit today in a shirt I got at Forever 21. No, 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 no. After, no, no, no. Oh, my okay, God. I so continue. love that store. <laughs> okay, that wait, carry on. I hope nobody sees this. Wait, something, something really, really funny about... We used to have one of those student teachers for the mental special ed kid and uh during pe he wasn't allowed in the locker room how funny is what? that really he was openly gay and he wouldn't let him in the boys locker room i think that's wrong yeah, I don't think either wait the no. special ed student was gay or the coach the 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 teacher like the person who helped him around school oh i wouldn't yeah honestly i don't think that's fair yeah I mean, he like fair. weird sandusky yeah, like Sandusky. Exactly. I don't. No. I saw him at the mall with his partner going into Forever Twenty One. Joe Paterno. Anyway. <laughs> okay, Jack. Jack. Okay, if you had to pick what? one commenter, who would it be? Then we would get back to Lance and Azri. I'm gonna say Escal because another one doesn't really pop in my mind. But for it to be, it has to be somebody who'd upload two to four videos a day that could be lengthy and could include walkthroughs. Mm-hmm. That's why I say Ezcal, although he's not really uploading a ton right now. He's I think Ezcal's probably burning out on YouTube. Yeah, he is. Dude, he's been posting, like, two I don't know, he was the first. Videos. Him and Blame Truth, the first. Okay, okay if I you... Think... Yeah, okay, Azur, are you done? Yeah, no, carry on, whatever. Uh, that, like, Ezcal, if you look at his channel, he posts, like, two to three videos every single day. And it's just, like, you can... It's, like, almost he's reliable on it. Like, he will definitely post today. And it's just, like... I. I don't know how he does it, because I would be burned out of YouTube really quickly and stuff, you know? Wait, can we include their whole library? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Another one could be, like, Woody's Gamer Talent, because of all the podcasts that he has. That, 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 he has point. a point. He has a point. Yeah, but, but then, then again... Yeah. Woody's I've already Gamer seen all the good ones. Woody's yeah, but I mean, Talent. still... I would go Syndicate or Uber Hacks or Okay, not. I was thinking Syndicate. I was thinking Syndicate also. You know He's what? Shut up, up, Jack. No, you weren't. You unoriginal. I was. How many okay. uploads does he have a day? Two, I think. Way more. No, but they're uh, long. They're long. I like, yeah. I really think Syndicate's one of the best upcoming... Not upcoming. He's already huge, but... In the past two years, I think Syndicate's one of the best. I think he's running out of ideas to do now. No, they are always no, 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 no. Wait, wait, time out, though. Wait, time out. You, you know, coming up in, like, November or whenever, Black Ops 2, and what was Syndicate's channel based on? Not zombies. Minecraft, not called Zombies. It was based on Zombies. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And, you, and you know all this eight-player, objective-based based Zombies. I, 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 I doubt true. Syndicate will be burned out anytime soon. Yeah. I think, I mean... X Cal, my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I, he was the first person I watched like five years ago, and he's my favorite. But I think I would pick Syndicate. Yeah, dude, he did solo rounds to a hundred, and he like left his Xbox yeah. on for like days straight doing that. Like, I don't. He's not gonna be burned down anytime soon. And and the things he records now, not no offense to him, but are pretty easy to record. Like Minecraft, he's having oh, fun in it, and he's doing a live commentary. What? Yeah. And, but the thing is, x I, I feel bad for him because his viewers are so... Such COD fanboys at times. Yeah, they're, they're honestly, gone what, now, though. I, I know, he's sitting at 220,000. He's on a, he's in a recession. I don't care. x great. great. He, he's honestly one of the best out there. Yeah, I think he deserves like, more, but... Let me, let me go through. Mass Effect 3, 20,000 views. COD, Black Ops, Live Commentary, 33. And then Saints Row, 16. God of War, 17. I'm going in a row of his videos. There's Mass Effect 3, 16. Mass Effect 3, 19. Uh, freaking Apocalyptic Diaries. I don't even know what that is. And it's got 21,000. Black Ops, 20. Daisy. 
Daisy, it is? I think. Yeah, it is, it is, Daisy. And then there's, ugh, like, honestly, he's got such variety. And then if you go through his playthroughs, he's got Assassin's Creed, he's got Batman. Yeah, he's dude, got I watched Diablo, his Batman, that was amazing. This is both of his Batmans. He's got Battlefield on here, he's got Metal Gear Solid, he's got Modern Warfare. He plays a bunch of games, like... He's got the best variety out there, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. But, so I mean, here, wait. Hmm? Here, here's, um, like, a clear opportunity. I miss his MW2 vids. Ah, yeah. He's he was so good. All those were amazing. He's okay. honestly one of the most talented video game players ever. Like, right here, Mass Effect 3. He's got 227,000 subscribers. Mass Effect 3, Crew Conversations, Part 42. 42 freaking parts, 4,000 views. And then next one, Battle... Uh, let's see. Battlefield 3, next video, 46,000. I, I feel like people only... I don't think people should... People only, only watch, watch FPSs. That, that's, just because it's an FPS. Yes, just because it's an FPS. And I feel really bad for him because, you know, that's kind of, like... I'm I mean, pretty... Like, he just, he's a person who just doesn't really care. How like, to him? I mean, for fuck's sake. Who yeah, I know, because, like... Because, like, if it was down to me, I would break and I would just post a lot of Call of Duty because... Because you're that, a bitch. That, no offense. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, yeah, but, like... <laughs> you know what the <laughs> people... <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm just going to take that. Anyway, Lance, who's your favorite? You have to pick one. Would, my favorite or the person I would pick? You would pick. Syndicate. Yeah, Syndicate's not my favorite, but I'd pick. All right, and so we are heading on to our last topic, and we I want to talk about Blops 2 and your expectations, since I just pre-ordered it today. So yeah. I, you uh, cut out, Alec. What, okay. What's your last topic? I want to talk about your expectations for Black Ops Two because I just pre-ordered today and I got a freaking poster. <laughs> oh my That's god! Right. I want to no, no, I want to no, put no, that no, over no. my Beatles no, no, poster, no, no. my Abbey Road, Road right now. No, time out. I'm on Twitter right now, and one of my friends just tweeted, "If I had a dollar for every time I was molested, I would have been the richest kid in Sunday school." What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts? Come on! Oh my! I, don't, I think that's what should be in the district. Jack, what's your thoughts? Since you've been to Christian camps, I've been to Christian camps. I think yeah. No, no, no. Christian camps aren't the dirty ones. Okay, what's the dirty ones then? Uh, the ones what down ones south. Jack goes to Boy Scout camps. The ones down south where it's. <laughs> Or you're on a field look. trip, and the only one there is the Pope, and you know. No, nah, like, no, nah, the ones down south are the ones like the ones trip. where it's frowned upon to hang an American flag up, but instead of a Confederate one, those are normally <laughs> the dirty ones. Okay, but anyway, let's get back on the topic of Blops Two or Black Ops Two. What are your expectations looking at the trailers and the new weapon breakdowns wait, and all that stuff? Time out. Did you already? Did you already get a poster? Yeah. I didn't get a poster. Like once you pre-order it at GameStop, they give you a poster if they have them. Oh, I didn't get a poster. What well, I'm going to have to go consult GameStop. Yeah, I didn't get a poster. Yep, you get a poster and then you get Black Ops 2 2025 or something. Newtown 2025. Yeah. That's the only reason I pre-ordered. Cause yeah, that's the only reason I did also. I pre-ordered a poster. And then my Modern Warfare 3 Prestige token, which I... What it was? What was it? I redeemed it at, at um, Call of Duty Elite and go figure. I haven't gotten the token yet. Two <laughs> weeks later. I mean... It just blows my mind how a completely legitimate website like Call of Duty Elite is. I don't understand how I don't have my shit yet. I thought you were supposed to uh, uh, redeem that on GameStop.com. Yeah, you are. Oh, oh. shit, really? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh, you're supposed well, to. I, think. I didn't yeah, do but it. Now you're not anyway, anyway, so what are you guys' expectations for? Because it looks futuristic, it looks like it's going to be new, but at the same time, it's kind of... I don't yeah, know, I... That's the same. Uh, I don't know, pal. You're a tr you're a Infinity Ward fan. I don't think yeah. your opinions are legitimate. I'm zombies, a zombies are good. Okay, okay, no, okay. The thing is, I'm not really an Infinity Ward fan. I consider myself more of a Treyarch fan. I did enjoy no, you Black don't. Ops. I did enjoy Black Ops. Yes, I love Black Ops. But I think that I don't know. Just looking at it, it it just for me at least, it looks really futuristic, and it just looks like. It's not a step in the right direction, but it is new, and I will give it a chance. And I think it's going to be a well-made game and stuff, but I just don't see myself enjoying enjoying it as much as I, you know, another Call of Duty would. I mean, I, I don't know. 
Anyone? No, like, <laughs> shut up, Jack. No, no, no Azur, like, g- give your thoughts on it. I don't know. I don't think anyone that judges a game before it's even come out ha- is in any way intellectually in- enlightened. Honestly. True. Just because a game looks different, it doesn't look the same. I mean, it doesn't mean you should get on the What is going on? Is somebody, like, beating their mic o- uh, uh, someone's going going moving. What? what? Sorry, I'll tell my sister to leave. What the f- What are you doing with your sister this late at night? You creepy fuck southern <laughs> hick? <laughs> okay, anyway, so your thoughts on people, um, judging it before, you know, you've played it and stuff? I don't think- I don't think- Whenever someone judges a game, says it's gonna be bad, before they've even touched it, before they've even, like, played We haven't it. even seen gameplay. I don't think- That's- and I have seen gameplay. It just, just makes me mad. And multiplayer? Not... Yeah. It's multiplayer. It wins. No, multiplayer. no, okay, okay, no. Before you even before you even play it, playing is the main part. You can watch all the trailers and all the multiplayer uh, leaks as you want, but until you play it, that's when you can judge it. Like, I personally, I like to assume and I like to put expectations for it, but I can't, in the end, I can't say that it's going to be a bad game based on just looking at trailers and stuff. But that's what a lot of people do. They yeah, say I know. the game is gonna suck. I'm not gonna buy it. It's a shitty game. Wait, no, they have gameplay. They don't have yeah. multiplayer games. They do. They have it leaked. Yeah, they have check, single player. Check Raw Instincts channel. Oh man, like, Raw Instincts. Like, does he actually have some? I think he does. Yeah. If it is a good or a bad game, I'm going to play the crap out of it. Yeah. I mean, that's, honestly, that's us kind of, is yeah. what? How long have we been playing Call of Duty since oh. COD Four? I mean, let's be honest. If it's not good, though. Cod is dead. No, no, no. 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 I exactly. think it is. No, no. Unfortunately, okay. I think Cod will still think... live on. Even if it's the most horrible game, I'm still going to be playing it. It's still going to be my main game, unfortunately. And also, that leads into my another topic about Halo 4. I personally, I'm not going to buy it because it just seems like one of those games like Azeroth. I'm just kind of quoting Azeroth. It seems like one of those games you play for a couple hours, maybe like a week or two a month, and then you just set it down forever. And That's I don't feel like I'm well, do I don't feel like wasting that game. Like I bought Halo Reach, and you know what? I play it on and off sporadically, and it's just one of those games I just put down and just say, "Okay, I'm done with it." I mean, I think Halo that... Reach is my second most played game besides Call of Duty. I'm like a like a brigadier, which Halo is Halo Three was amazing. No idea what that is. A brigadier. It's not very far. It's like halfway, maybe. Yeah. But dude, it takes forever to level up in Halo. Forever. And Halo. I played Halo 4 at RTX. It's a good game. Halo 3 was even harder than Reach I mean, to level up in. I don't think that Halo is going to be a bad game, but nevertheless, I it's going to be one of those games where I'm going to pick it up, play the shit out of it for maybe two weeks, drop it, and then never look back at my 60 bucks that I paid. Wait, wait. That's I have true. a question. That's, Has that's anybody much. here played Halo 3 at lunch? No. Uh, I played... I've played Halo 3. I... Fantastic game. But I'm I didn't know, but it. how much have you played? Maybe two days. I um, haven't had live back then. I because played the thing games. that worries me is, if you played a bunch of Halo 3, and I heard even, I didn't play 2, but I've heard about 2, the, the Halo Reach was really bad. No, it was. For Halo, for Halo see, for Shuffles, Halo. did you play Reach? Did you play 3, though? I, I didn't play online. Okay, that's the reason. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like half, the stuff, half the stuff that you see, like all the game types that MW3 says that they're adding, all came from Halo 3. Okay, yeah, they were, tr- they're or... little weekend updates. Okay, Halo Reach was horrible. It's so easy if you played a bunch of Halo 3. All right, so going on yeah. with what Chuckles was saying, this is how I feel like the newest generation of Call of Duty people that are buying CODs and stuff, you know, that there's you know there's new generations every year, the new 12, the 13 year olds, and they're going to buy Black Ops 2. And think this game is the most amazing yes. like crap ever. And then, yes. like like Chuckles oh, was saying, like yeah, and like what Lance was saying, they're like, this is the most, this is great. And it's like, what do you mean, like uh, Halo Three, the older edition, the worst one was better than this? I don't even it's understand like, how yeah. much I agree with that. People like us, the old gamers, well, not so much Chuckles, because when did you start Modern Warfare Two? Yeah. I mean, I'm still reminiscing of the COD Four, the worst of the days. Like, yeah, but the like thing with that is, if you release a sequel, you have to be able to appeal to everyone. Mm-hmm. Because if you release a sequel and you're not getting the people from beforehand, you kind of failed with the whole idea of a sequel. I mean, that's that's basically Activision in general. Yeah. They yeah, but people get mad whenever it's the same game. 
they like, do people shit. need to make up their minds. People get Wait, mad because up. they changed Halo, but then they get mad because they don't change COD. Alright, Azif, your turn. Wait, don't... Ah, uh, debatable, though. Because... No, the mm. thing about Halo is Halo had such a... Had something that was just so perfectly balanced and was so well made that when Reach came out, what are you out, talking about? Just, armor lock, he, armor lock is perfectly balanced. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, Reach is really easy. Like Pallet will tell you, last time I yeah. got on there, I went like twenty five and oh twice. The game is hit a point where it's like it's just not. It's too easy because they put too many newbie things in there. Like the DMR, what people don't know is they sit there and they go, oh, it's the most skillful weapon. The DMR is a five hit anywhere. It requires no skill. Whereas in Halo 3, if you were good, you could four shot or you can eight shot somebody with the, whatever, what they call it, the DMR is a five shot everywhere. I mean, it was like you had to, no, you can't get a four shot if you were good. But in Reach, it's like I only have to hit him four times and then hit in the head. Always. It doesn't matter where I hit him. I can shoot him in the foot four times, and then once in the head. And it, it's just they made certain things in the game, so it got really easy. And that's what just ruined it. And in Halo 4, I'm worried because the guns in the game are killing faster. They put certain things in there. Like, I think they have custom classes, so it's closer to Todd and competing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, There's no radical bloom. Uh, all right, but, I mean, like, what, what I was going to say, oh, sorry, uh, really quickly, that, um, it seems like Halo, for me, I'm pretty sure Halo 4 will go back maybe to the roots since, you know, Halo Reach was kind of like an offset. It won't at all. I hope it, I hope it does, but I, I, it looks bad. Yeah, I hope it, it does, feels. but at the same time, like, that Reach was like a step towards step towards COD because that's, you know, what Call of Duty, the reason why people go back to it and the reason why so many people like it is because it, like, Jack, like, it's famous Jack line, it's instant gratification. It's so fast to kill people. It doesn't take, it does take skill, it does take strategy and stuff, but really, when it comes down to it, a lot of people can gain, like, you know, it's really easy to kill people in the end of the day, and it's really easy to go on those streaks and stuff, and, like, it's really, it's an easy game to pick up and do. It doesn't take too much accuracy, and, you know, it's just, it's an easy game, and it's a really user-friendly game in, in the end of the day, and Halo, like, Halo 3 at least wasn't, and actually took quite a bit of decent, you know, gun skill and stuff, and it's just like, you know, there's subsections in that, I understand, but Halo Reach was like a step towards COD, it was faster killing, there's more newbie stuff in it, and it seemed like it, it was, was a little bit more was, easy. Wait, 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 sh- Jack, wait, time up. But, okay, wait, I don't know, I can't, I didn't play enough Halo Reach and Halo 3 to generalize whether it was faster paced, slower paced, killed faster, but do you not think Bungie is doing what they should do by j- appealing to more audiences? No. I- you okay. No. Yeah. They, they no, lost I think it's right, awesome. but at the same time, you're kind of losing your diehard Halo fans. But you're appealing to the masses, though. I mean, I I agree to that. I feel like the diehard Halo fans are more important. They should, like I've I've been begging or not begging. I've been just hoping that one day they're gonna bring either like War back or they're gonna do like a whole oh, thing, a whole game type where it looks. Like you're playing World at War, you know, the, like that game engine, like the old school one with like the plus five and the dogs and shit. I've always wanted that. Not yeah. watching that link. Like no, it's it's a link. The first one's Halo Three. The first, the second one's Halo Four. We don't like, have and time you can just for that. See the and, difference. And, and as reflect, like, like you were saying, it was. It's just like for me at least, like. Like, I understand that you need to uh, appeal to your diehard fans, and that's what's got the game off the floor, and that's what you, you you really kind of morally need to appeal to. But at the same time, at the end of the day, it's a business, and if you're not making yeah, profit... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm supporting. Yeah, and, I'm supporting the side that Bungie should be doing what they can to make profit. Just yes. because I think it's morally wrong that they're not doing enough for the old school gamers like us. But I understand what they're doing, why they're making it more fast or paced. But, no, but it, you hurt yourself in the long run. I don't no, think so. No, no, you don't because you're appealing to the masses and you get... Okay, once you get that mass or attention 30, and once you get that, you can, the only Reach? place like the only Reach. place you can go is up. Once you get that mass attention and more people will flock to it, and even though you're not you're going against what you originally intended, you're still getting that mass attention. And at the end of the day, like Azra said, you need to make money, and once you get that attention, it the only place you can go is up. Yeah. But and I mean it, you can use that for COD, right. but whether or not anybody wants to admit it, Halo three was bigger than Reach ever was. 
the, from the people playing on it, how many people were playing on it a day to how many people still play it, it is it was bigger than Reach ever was. Okay. I mean, you can even go look at this gameplay. They added a visor in there where you can see through the walls and see the enemies to try to speed up the game. That's a stupid idea. And then they made the guns kill faster. All right, Lance, be, be, I'm going to kind of cut you off really quickly. That Do you think, like, just a question, Jack, do you think that the people that die hard Halo 3 fans are more massive and more concentrated than the Call of Duty franchise. I don't. I personally think the Call it of Duty franchise, match the Call is, of Duty franchise it's it's not. That's why I'm saying that even though it's wrong and I do just don't like it, they're going to eventually. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not trying to assume what they want to do, but I kind of think that they're going to try to appeal to more of the Call of Duty people because it's a bigger place. It's a bigger people, and there's that's where the money place, is. But the thing that they're failing at is they won't be able to wean the COD players off, and all they do by releasing this is just hurt the people who actually want to play Halo. And that's what happened to Reach. They yeah, tried but to then again, that's the their own fault. Off, it didn't work. Yeah, it's a Bungie, risk. It's a risk. Bungie did a good job at it. Great for them. If they didn't, that's their own fault. Yeah, it's a risk. All right, we, Lance, you were going to say something. When do you guys think the uh, end of COD will be? Okay, three wait. years. Can I say this honestly? That's what I was going to say. Three years. I think. I think it's going to be when. I don't think it's, it's going to end. It's, it's going to die off slowly. No, no, I, it has to end sometime. I don't think three years if Black Ops Two is good. Two if Black Ops Two is bad. I it's going to die off slowly. I mean, like the. Okay, when do you think the YouTube Call of Duty scene will fizzle down? Okay, I think that'll be maybe four years. I don't think it will die out. I just don't think it'll be Call of Duty. I think the COD players yes, will I mean, just transition. I, okay, hopefully the Call I mean. of Duty community will finally dissolve and stop fucking around with like the Battlefield 3 community and just stop being a bunch of 13-year-olds with high voices who are prepubescent little bitches. That's a stereotype. You can't even say that. Okay, well, okay, you know what I mean. Woody's gamer tag is a high-pitched voice in Halo and Battlefield. (sighs) Wait, what? All right, but, like, the thing is, for me, I don't see YouTube... Like, I see the community fizzling out, but I don't see it just fizzling out and nothing happens. I I see it transferring over to another games, and it's another muse. It's going to get another thing. But personally, I don't see Call of Duty ever running out. I think it's just going to continuously go on. It may get less and less popular, whatever, but I don't see it fizzling out anytime soon. And the YouTube community, I don't see it fizzling out. I just see it transferring over to another, you know, base game that everybody makes Call of Duty commentaries or whatever. What do you think can beat COD? Because in my opinion, I don't think anything can. I think COD will beat itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, I agree with that. Wait, standard. what about that new... You know how Activision, like... Yeah, they're, they're, the high? respawn game, but yeah, who knows when it's game. coming out. But who knows if it's going to be a fantastic, kick-ass game like COD 4. But it won't have the following. It you would never have to know. make its own. You never know. It, you could say the ads could be from the people that brought you COD 4. Well, I mean, yeah, respawn that's true. gaming's new bullcrap to make money. I mean, yeah. who knows? It could be a really good game. Yeah, they could, could advertise be. it like crazy. Yeah. And I hope... I mean, honestly... I want something like that. I want something new from Call of Duty. Yeah, like, I'm surprised they're not doing an anniversary of this edition okay. of COD 4. Like, all you guys know that there's a bunch of better games out than Call of Duty. But the reason why I don't play, at least for me, the reason why I don't play those is not enough of my friends play them as, like... Because for me, Call of Duty, whenever I get on Xbox, I see all my friends at least playing Call of Duty or some type of Call of Duty. And it's just for me, it's like, I don't like playing alone. And like until the community shifts over to something else, I don't see myself getting hooked off Call of Duty. Because if nobody start, if everybody just stops playing Call of Duty in another game, I'm going to be you know, one of those people in the bandwagon that Bad bandwagon. switches over. You know, honestly, on this topic, I think XCal is a pioneer because he did that. Before anyone, he based his channel on Call of Duty. Yep, before yeah. anyone, he began to base his channel on more innovative, different stuff. Like anyone, Senior is too. He's he turned Minecraft. Oh and yeah, he started Minecraft. Yes, he started it off. Like oh he was. Like, I remember that video. He was on I like um, 
he was on Black Ops or something, and he was playing. I, I forgot what game it was. Uh, it was it was like out not outpost. It was a snowy map. It wasn't it wasn't array, but array. Anyway. Oh, grid. 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 grid grid. He was on Sonic. grid, and he was talking about Minecraft. I was like, what is this? He's like, oh, I talked talked to Notch or whatever. I got into a uh, you know like a mm-hmm. server or like he was talking about all this. I'm like, what the heck is Minecraft? A month later. Everybody, like, not everybody knows about Minecraft, but, you know, a couple months later, everybody's playing Minecraft. Like, big YouTubers and everything. And you know what? Like, people don't, people don't uh, suspect, you know, CNN started it all, but he did. He expanded out to more people. He put its more exposure. You know? No way. Wait, you guys think that was the start of Minecraft? No. I was there whenever that view had, like, 150,000. Hello? Cut out. Yeah, you cut out. Say that again? I was spending money on the internet. Wait, say that again. You cut out. You you something about 150. Yeah, yeah, whenever whenever the first video he made had 150 thousand views. I think it's like four million now. That's whenever I picked up on the series, and uh, I started playing that winter, and I got a lot of my friends involved before the YouTube thing kicked in. And I remember that Notch video, and that was a, that was not that long ago. But he did okay, launch well, it. Okay, we can't be technical. We can't, like... He launched it big time. Yeah, I, I would say... Xenon is the main reason Minecraft is big. Yeah. Yes. I think not okay, I have a question. Do Marketing. you think the new consoles can change anyone's opinion on the game? Like, no. do you think if a new one releases with a with okay, response title, do you think it can top COD? No. Maybe. Maybe. So I want it to. I hope it will, and I hope it's a good game. It won't. Because, I mean, if they release it with the consoles, what I'm talking about. Oh, like oh wait, wait, okay. so you, you, Jack, like, you just like say Todd that. Moore, now, that's wait, interesting. No, no, like, okay, if they were to release the Xbox 720, and with it, instead of, like, you know how the PS3 comes with Uncharted, it yeah. came with Respawn's new game. Yeah, that, uh, that would launch. No, 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 like, Jack, yeah. you should have mentioned that, like, right when you start out, because that's a big game changer. The reason why, I'm not going to say solely the reason why, but a big reason why Call of Duty is so great now is because when the first Xbox or whatever, I'm not, I don't, I'm really not sure, but it had, yeah, it had a COD. It had a COD, and that was the first game everybody had. And like, I'm pretty sure, I can't see anybody not playing that game when they first bought their Xbox. It was because, too. Yeah. What does and, it come with now? Like Fable? Um, I don't know. It comes yeah, with Xbox. Yeah, it comes it comes with, with I think Halo, maybe. No, but the thing Here's is, a at, war. Yeah, see, as a, like, a lot of people already have an Xbox, but if you release a new thing, like Xbox 720, everybody's yeah. going to want that. You know, everybody's going to, you know, it's like an upgrade, okay? You're upgrading your PC, upgrading whatever. And once you upgrade, everybody's going to buy that. And if you add a game in there, that could really be a game changer because nowadays, you know, Xbox, you, you know, people... Game, again? game Game changer. Can you say oh. game some more times? Oh. Okay. Anyway, but, but still, like... Everybody's already buying an Xbox, and people buy them for Christmas and stuff. When you know, like they they get the new Xbox and stuff. But, but I mean, when, I, I think it's kind of obvious that if they launch a new console with a new game as the face of that console, I think it's no, obvious that saying, game's gonna be could that game yes. top COD. Would COD, if it's, they then release without a doubt, hours, have a legacy it, to even compete? It, okay, if, if it would that compete. Game was a good. If that game was good. Without a doubt, it would trump COD. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be good. I mean, okay. COD 2, Uncharted, and Killzone got all their starts off of releasing with the consoles. Killzone, I wouldn't say is phenomenal, nor would I say COD 2 was. That The thing is, for me, at least, like, as if you're, you're saying all that stuff, and I, I do agree with some of it, but for at the, the new Xbox release and the PS3 release, like, you know, the original ones, those were a big release. Everybody wanted the 720... I want to get one personally. I may get one actually, but like the thing is for me is it's not really it's an optional thing. You don't need to get it, but a lot of people will. But I think that game needs to be sure. good. Yeah. yeah. But that game needs to be good in order to even compete with COD. I don't Ooh. think it's going to automatically trump it, but it needs to be just as good as COD even to compete. I, think I do that's have what a, it is. It can't be as good as COD. It game. has to be different. Yeah, I, I you can't be caught in its own oh, no, game. I'm not, I'm not saying that you're, it's the same thing as caught. It has to be on the same level. I mean, like, how appealing it, it is and how... Paid. Yeah, exactly. It has to be something that is different, but at the same time is well enough made to keep people wanting to play it more. Because yes. once they get 720p, this will be the first game, you know what? They're going to want to try it out. And if they have a good experience with it, it's all about experience. If they have a good experience with it, 
then that is embedded in their head, and they can will continue playing it. But if it's bad, if it's like a repulsing game, you know, then people will be more likely just to put it down and buy whatever the next Call of Duty for the 720 or whatever. But it's they people will need to cash in on that moment when um they buy that uh game. It needs to be good. It really. I does. have a question though. Okay, yeah. the new consoles are supposed to release in a year or two from now. If you look at a PS3 and Xbox, I put their numbers about 10 to 15 million online users. Would that be about right? So, yeah, it is. It is how is the right. transition going to work? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that's wait, 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 time out, time out, time out. Okay, tell me why you have an Xbox. Is it because you really like the game or you really like the inner the I first bought it for the people, games. the interface. Games. First bought it for the games. Are you sure wow. you don't have... The only reason I have an Xbox is because of Xbox Live. And yeah, there is the no reason. way, there's no way in hell Microsoft is going to get a brand new interface. So I think... Um, are you sure about that? Are you honest? I mean, I don't think honest? Okay, no, no. As of I has, think it'll, honestly, I think what it'll have is it'll be almost like the Xbox Live thing is ported over... Where you log in under your name, mine camper no camping, and it has all my friends there. The only difference is that all the games will play on the 720, and they will all play at with the new graphics card and stuff. Yes, exactly. That's sure? that, no, no, see, that's what I think. I don't think Xbox is going to spend all that money to buy a new interface because. You sound like a okay. robot. Yeah. Oh, oh well, it's fine on my end, so you're good, you're whatever. Good. Yeah, so you're good anyway, that for Xbox at least, if they get a new interface, and I can't contact any of my friends because at first i bought xbox actually no at first i bought my ps3 for the games and then i bought my xbox because i had more friends online on xbox and that's what as like as was saying i bought it because i have friends on there and if they have a new interface for 720p or whatever like i'm pretty sure they don't but if they did oh i would God. buy the 720 whatever and because it's about friends and stuff and you know I want to be more likely to buy it. And if they have a game included with that new interface, then that is just tremendous. But like Jack said, I'm pretty sure they will keep the same interface and the games will just play on a better graphics card. And I think that's what it's going to be at the end of the day. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wouldn't it be kind of a smart idea if you didn't make it the same interface because the people who are going to buy it, like, that may be a good reason for you to buy one. But is that might be a risk, because yeah, then again, what if, what if Sony doesn't change its interface, and a whole a shit ton of people buy the new PS4 or whatever it's going to be? If and they're smart, like, go ahead. Okay, and Xbox changes its interface. A lot of people are like, wait a second, I can't play with my current friends on Xbox Live. Maybe some of them don't have the money to buy a new 720. Maybe exactly. some of, them, some if, of their parents won't let them. What 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 about then? I cannot hang out. I cannot communicate yeah. with my friends. I'm gonna go buy a fucking PS4. But God knows, I'm gonna have some friends on there. Yeah, yeah, the, exactly. If there's they're a smart risk. though. That's what they'll true. do is they'll release it with the same interface, and then about a year and a year and a half later, they'll update the interface. Or maybe they're gonna do what Sony did with the PS3 and the PS3. They're PS2. They're still gonna make games for the PS2, but the good games are gonna be where the Xbox 720 is. Instead of the Xbox 360, I can see. That, I, yes, I, I think that's what's going to go on. It's going to be well, surprised if they said. I would hope so. No, it's going to be like Call the Wii and the GameCube, or sorry, Jack. Um, or, well, yeah. you know what I mean. You know, they can yeah, play both. Yeah, like, the like the Black Wii? Ops Three released on both the Xbox 360 and the 720. Yeah, because yeah. like, see, the Wii, you can play GameCube games, and and then like, at, well, at least when they made the Wii, they still made GameCube games. But at the same time, the better games were made on the Wii. But you had that luxury of going back and buying the GameCube games, and you Is know that that's not what I just said. I just yeah, hope yeah, they I'm don't. Just, I'm putting in an analogy. The whole what? because you, know, you can't play yeah, Xbox. Fine originals on the 360 without going offline i hope they don't ruin the whole system that much though what you can't no you can't you can't load up one without going offline oh, I, I didn't know you could anyway the only game i play on my wii is super smash brothers uh Damn melee Mario Kart. yes exactly. melee it's oh, a no. game keep game it's the only one to play on the wii like, so that super smash Bros. ball the regular, the normal Super Smash Bros. and then the um the Mario Kart. I just okay, love wait, time Mario. Out, time out. Does anyone in this conference call still have an N64? 
I did. Am I still have the 64. I wish I did. I still have a 64. With, 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 the, the, with the brick things, like you just put it in there and then you have to. you gotta blow in. Yeah, yeah you have to blow in them and then you have to put it in there and you have to smack it once. Yeah. Old school nostalgia. Right Dude. there. Yeah. Anybody I, I play played... the Mario on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. What else? I mean, you'd uh, get Bele, you'd get Ocarina of Time. I, I don't know, the, the controller hurts sometimes, like, the thumbstick on it. Like, oh, God, mine's, the controller mine's, was awful. Mine's oh. not, it's not pleasant to play on, but it I still love so the bad. game I mean, it, you need three hands to play with <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, it's honestly, I think Nintendo might have thought you could play with your penis the way they just <laughs> constructed Dude, GameCube that. GameCube had a really stupid one also, because it was like, did you ever play Madden on the GameCube? They were like, be sure to hold down your right stick up while holding down A and pressing B. Who <laughs> plays Madden on a GameCube? I, I don't think Back I when 06 and 07 were See, only that's where you messed up. I didn't even know there was Madden on a GameCube. Exactly. For you. You buy Nintendo, you buy a GameCube so you can play good Nintendo games like Melee, like a Zelda game, like a Metroid games. Yeah. Okay? You, don't, who, you don't play EA games on a GameCube. They had a recent good, uh, what, what do they call it? Like, um, Zelda game for the Wii. All right, um, but yeah. but anyway, guys, um, I think we're running out of time. I think we've passed our limit, but I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, podcast. This is our first episode, and if you guys want to see more, please hit that like button, comment, and if you did watch all of this, which I would be really surprised, please leave a comment down below saying you did, and I will check out your channel. I'll do anything you want because no, you you're won't. such God, a beast. Shut up, you you like shut that. up. Okay, anyway, guys. <laughs> Just sub like, to me. I so won't have to wait, time out. Wait, everyone be quiet. Before we end, I think we should take a vote. Write down whose name you want to kick off this call, and we'll do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Maybe. We're going to poll if you made it this far. Okay. And then, As always. If, if, if you made it this just, far, good for you. We'll know. Put, yeah. Or just put your favorite down and make sure it isn't Palette. All yes. right. We're done. Right. And as always, stay happy in Palatine. Cut, 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 cut. No, no. As always, stay happy in Palatine. Peace out. Peace.